Welcome to the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. I'm Emile Deku, the associate conductor of the National Symphony Orchestra. My job as conductor is to show and lead the orchestra through the music, but today I'm going to give you a tour of the Kennedy Center. The Kennedy Center is a living memorial to President John F. Kennedy. When I say living memorial, I mean the Kennedy Center is more than just a building. It's a place where dance, plays, and concerts happen every day. When people come for a performance, they help bring the memorial to life. I hear you're going to come see us perform at the concert hall. Let me show you around. This is the Kennedy Center Plaza. It's filled with artwork, reflecting pools, and fountains. And on the day that you're going to visit us, school buses too. There's a whole lot more to see inside. Let's go. The first thing you should know about the Kennedy Center is that it's a really big place. This is the Hall of Nations. It gets its name from all the international flags hanging above my head. See how many you can pick out. Over there is the stage door. That's where the musicians and I go to work, but it's off limits to most people. That's the grand foyer. Let's go check it out. What's a foyer, you ask? Just a fancy name for a lobby. This is the grand foyer because it's the entryway to the Kennedy Center's three largest performing spaces, the Eisenhower Theater, Opera House, and the Concert Hall. This foyer is so long that the Washington Monument can lie on its side and there would still be room for a herd of cows. But enough about the grand foyer, let's go inside the Concert Hall. That's my favorite part. Oh yeah, when you come here with your school, your teacher will meet an usher and they'll show you to your seat. But if you come here with your family, the usher will take a ticket and put it right here in this box. This is the concert hall. It's an amazing place, isn't it? Over 2,400 people can watch a performance from here. That's like mm, 35 buses filled with kids and 45 baseball teams plus another 60 families of four. No matter what seat you get on any of the concert hall's four levels, you'll have a great view of the performers on stage. Let's walk down to the stage and I'll point out some more interesting features. The scene on concert day will be different from what you see now. The musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra will be in those empty chairs on stage, and you, along with a couple thousand other people, will be part of our audience. Behind those walls over there is the conductor's dressing room and the musician's lounge, but that whole area back there is off limits to the public. The stage I'm sitting on is made of wood, just like those high-tech panels that are hanging above me. The floor underneath all the seats and the seat backs. The wood throughout the concert hall helps the music travel to each seat. As the musicians play their instruments, the sound they create bounces off the wood and is sent toward the listener. Other materials could have been chosen, like carpet or metal. Carpet, however, absorbs too much sound, and metal makes the sound bounce too much. The natural properties of wood absorb a small amount of sound and send just the right amount toward the listener. You've probably noticed those pipes on the wall behind me. They're part of a very large organ that is played at some of our concerts here. There are over 4,000 pipes, some as small as your pinky, others as large as a telephone pole. Well, that about wraps it up. I'm sorry I couldn't show you everything, but rules are rules. But I hope you've seen enough to make your visit a special one. On behalf of the National Symphony Orchestra and the Kennedy Center, I look forward to seeing you at our concert. Psst, you're not gone yet, are you? If we hurry, we can take a look at some of the places most people never get to see. Quick, let's go. So here we are now in the backstage area of the concert hall. Over there is where the musicians hang out. And this over here is my dressing room. That's where I get ready before the concerts. You can study, play the piano, or you could even take a nap. Okay, I think the coast is clear. This way. No, 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 Leonard, really. I'm just here by myself, honest. Okay, I'll see you tonight. Right before the concert begins, I stand here ready to walk on stage. The door opens. And I join the musicians on stage. To thunderous applause. We like that part. And here I am on the podium in front of thousands of concert goers. I bow to the audience. And then I turn to the musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra and we all share in the applause. It's really fun. Then I go to work. Conducting, that is. It's important for me to show a lot of energy and excitement when I'm conducting the orchestra so they'll know just how to play the music. Well, I guess we'd better stop here. And I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at the Kennedy Center. 
And don't tell anyone we've been sneaking around the concert hall. I'll see you at the concert.